Ka schoolers, ka researchers, let's talk about another sampling method, the stratified random sampling. Hi, ka schoolers! Hello, ka researchers! Welcome back to our channel, Anna PH. So first and foremost, I would like to inform you that we already have two videos on this topic about um, kinds of sampling. So for those who need them, you may uh, visit our channel and check for them. Second, I would like to invite you, yes, you, ikaw, to be part of our YouTube community by uh, subscribing here sa ating channel na Anna PH. Hit mo na rin yung notification bell para updated ka lagi at may access kang una sa mga videos na ina-upload natin dito sa ating channel. Now, for this content, we will talk about another non-probability sampling method, the stratified random sampling. Kaya tara na, ka-schoolers, pag-aralan na natin ang stratified random sampling. Ano ba siya at paano siya isinasagawa? Stratified random sampling. It is a probability sampling option where the population is broken down or uh, separated into strata like segments or sections. So here, the strata are chosen to divide a population into important categories relevant to the research interest. Um, this sampling method is termed also as quota random sampling. So ayan ka schoolers no isang dapat nating tandaan when we talk about stratified random sampling it involves the division of the population into different strata or subgroups Now another thing no isang magandang feature ng sampling method na ito ay yung it allows us tayong mga researchers to organize our groups based on similar characteristics, based on uh, similar attributes. Now, examples of um, criteria used in dividing the population into strata are the following. So, we may have age, gender, educational qualification, type of school, barangay, grade level, etc. So ngayon, punta naman tayo sa kung paano ba isinasagawa ang sampling method na ito. So narito na po, isashare na ni Ma'am Ana yung proseso kung paano ginagawa ang stratified random sampling. So here are the steps. 1. Identify your population. 2. Group or classify your population into different strata or subgroups. 3. Sampling follows. So, apply a sampling method. Choose your respondents per subgroup using, for example, simple random sampling. Now, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, let's give um, a concrete example. So, our situation is this. The researcher will study the causes and effects of academic stress among college students. So, first, equal representations of participants are chosen from various samples from private universities and government universities. So, this will be the first stratum. In the selected private and government universities, samples are selected from each course. So, this one is the second stratum. Then, samples are chosen per year level. We are now in the third stratum. So, dito, the researcher may add additional stratum if needed as long as the sampling process is done in, um, in stages from the first stratum to the last stratum. And then lastly, simple random sampling will be performed to the samples to complete the process. 
So, ayan, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, ganyan lang naman, no, isinasagawa ang sampling method na ito, ang stratified random sampling. So, kung wala ka pang napipiling um, sampling method para dyan sa research study mo, then baka ito, no, baka ito yung pwede mong gamitin para dyan. Now, um, before we end, let me, uh, allow me to read some comments from our ka-schoolers and ka-researchers. So, let's start with Apollinaria. Um, sabi niya, maikli lang yung video pero very informative and straight to the point. Mas natututo ako this way kesa pages and pages of lessons sa modules. Also, ngayon ko lang nakita na may iba't ibang ways pala sa paggawa ng introduction. Nasanay kami sa teachings na may fix talagang format ang introduction. Heaps of things, ma'am. Ayan. Hi, Apollinaria. Um, I'm happy for this very nice comment from you. <laughs> and um, by the way, no, um, sabi niya kasi it's good to know na meron palang iba't ibang techniques on how we are going to write our research introduction. Yes, of course, no, may iba't ibang paraan sa kung paano gagawin yung isang bagay at isa na nga dyan, no, yung pagsulat ng ating um, research paper. However, I always tell you na if your teacher, if your research teacher or like your research advisor instructs you no, to follow a specific format, then you go for that. No? Ng ngayon, kung wala naman at malaya kang uh, sumulat or gumamit ng paraan or technique sa kung paano isusulat yung a certain part of our research paper, then you go for um, these techniques na isinasuggest natin sa ating video. Ayan, so next um, comment na babasahin natin ay from um, Sarah Hane. Ito. <laughs> So, sabi niya, thank you for your videos, Doc. Um, by the way, I am not Doc Anna. <laughs> I am just Mom Anna. <laughs> you can just call me Mom Anna. And um, I'm not yet uh, Doctor Anna. <laughs> I'm still studying for my PhD degree. Ayan, so continue natin. Sabi niya, unti-unti ko nang nararamdaman na medyo madali lang din pala ang research. Depende lang po talaga sa teacher, professor na nag explain <laughs> Ayan. Um, Unang-una, nakakatuwa na um, mabasa at makita yung mga ganito, no, na nararamdaman nyo na, uy, madali lang pala ang research, less stress siya. <laughs> ito kasi, no, ito yung goal ng channel natin na ma, ma shift yung thinking no yung beliefs natin na mahirap, stressful at kasumpa-sumpa ang pagsulat ng ng research um, paper. So nakakatuwa yung ganitong mga comments na kumbaga no na-realize niyo na na gaya ng ibang task, madali lang din naman at less stress yung task na ito na pagsulat ng research. Very good kayo dyan. <laughs> okay, so I think ito na siguro yung last. Ang dami kasing comments. <laughs> Hindi natin mababasa lahat. So, yun nga, no, ini-invite ko kayo to um, be part of our YouTube community dito sa Ana PH kasi nagpo-post din tayo. So, recently, isa sa mga post na mayroon tayo sa ating YouTube community ay yung pangangamusta nga ni Ana PH. So, nag-post tayo doon na kamusta na kayo mga ka-schoolers, ka-researchers. So, maraming sumagot na okay lang sila. They are fine. They are doing good. Okay? So, pero merong isa si Rika Delphine. Hi, Rika. Shout out sa'yo. So, sabi niya, ito yung reply niya dun sa post natin. Um, not okay, ma'am. Binigyan kami ng teacher namin ng one month to finish our research study. Sobrang daming pressure. <laughs> so, yan yung naging reply niya or comment niya dun sa post natin. Um, Rika, I think kasi no, parang part na ng buhay natin yung deadlines. So, mayroong binibigay na task sa atin at definitely ay may deadline kung kailan yun. So, ang advice ko na lang sa'yo... Kasi nung no, unang-una sabi nga natin, 
um, pag inisip agad natin na mahirap, ay talaga mahirap. <laughs> Hindi siya magiging madali kasi ang isip mo, mahirap. So, growth mindset. Positive mindset. No? Ayan, shout out sa aking co-teacher na si Sir Lennon. Hi, Sir Lennon. Yan yung kasamahan ko na binubukalan ng, ano, ng positive mindset. At kinukuha ko naman, inaabsorb ko naman. Ayun, so trending ngayon yan, no? yung pagkakaroon ng growth mindset na tinatawag. So, you take things positively, no? like in this particular instance, yung uh, situation ni Rika. So, tanggapin lang yung, yung um, task na yon One month, okay pa yan. Mahaba-haba pa yan. <laughs> Ako nga may experience din na ganyan. Ako mas maiksi dyan yung time frame. <laughs> okay? Uh, so, at any rate yun, no? positive mindset, tanggapin positively yung lahat ng bagay. And then, makita mo, all things will be in proper places. And soon, yung mga task na yan, makikita mo na lang. Dan na sila lahat, accomplish mo na sila lahat. <laughs> okay, so wait lang ah, kasi meron pang isa. Ito si Mariel Olicia. Sabi niya kasi, thank you so much ma'am, ma'am Anna, for this. Sobrang nakatulong po. Um, shout out po sa next vlog mo ma'am. Ayan, kaya naman, sama na natin siya ngayon. So hello sa'yo, Mariel Olicia. Hindi ko alam yung school niya. Um, hello sa'yo, shout out sa'yo So maraming maraming salamat sa support ha? At um, keep watching our videos At lagi ko pong pinapakiusap no, Na sana ma-share nyo po Sa mga kapwa nyo, student researchers Yung ating channel Para din naman in our little way In our own way Ay matulungan nga sila Nung ating mga videos no? Matulungan sila sa pagsulat Ng kanilang research paper Thank you po so, ayan, there you have it, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers. Thank you for being with me in this video. See you sa susunod nating video. What a video. <laughs> Bye. Ulitin natin. <laughs> there you have it, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers. Thank you for being with me. See you in our next video. Bye. Okay na ba yan? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.